Welcome Grade 6 families. I'm sorry that it has to be this way with our COVID friendly open house for Grant Parks Middle School. We definitely love to see you in front of us. Um, those faces all lit up, these Grade 6 kids who are ending their their Grade 6 years, their elementary years and starting a new academic journey for middle school. Um, we're here to talk about Grant Park and specifically to talk about the program that we teach in. But first we wanted to talk about a few choices that you might have to make because school is all about choice. So you have choices with your hands-on classes such as sewing and woods and autos. You have choice with how you show your creativity such as the middle school musical band, jazz band, you have choice with how you spend your time with friends, with extracurricular clubs like chess and robotics, you have choice with how you move your body, we have intramurals at lunch and tons and tons of sports teams available, available for you, and you have choice with how you leave your voice with Grant Park through student council or social justice, choice all around. Um, but you definitely have choice with your academics. There are three different programs offered at Grant Park. We have our regular program, our advanced placement program, and our flexible learning program. And my name is Pam Curry and I teach in the flexible learning program, so that's definitely the one that's near and dear to my heart and the one that I'll be speaking about today. Uh, this is my teaching partner, Mr. Semenik, and we'll be together telling you all of the fantastic things that Flex has to offer. Hi, I'm Mark Semenik and uh, I'll be your math and science teacher if you were to join the Flex program. Um, and I kind of want to just re-emphasize the point that uh, Ms. Curry was making there, how the choice and the opportunities you have with our program um, doing a lot of different group and having your voice and your say and a lot of the things that you do in our program. You and I will walk together again. Hi, in the FLEX program, uh, we allow students to dig deeper into subjects and areas that they choose that's interest to them, uh, in addition to things that we do in the curriculum. Um, we include a, lot, include a lot of major projects um, in all core subjects, so we kind of do a cross-curricular projects for each of the terms that we work in, um, allowing students to demonstrate their knowledge and interest, interests in different ways and choices that they decide. Um, a lot of students incorporate um, some of the things they do in war work and in art class um, and other options in performing arts that they do and bring those to the presentations that they have with them in our classes. Um, so Flex is also collaborative. Um, we work do a lot of work with grade sevens and eights together. Um, obviously in a COVID year this looks a little bit different um, but we still have our students working together, whether that's in Google Slides assignments and other types of presentations that they can do online. Um, but we love students to kind of have that opportunity to mentor and associate with each other um, across grades and also within their grades, right? Um, includes a lot of skills that they're going to use, um, not only throughout their school career, but in their futures as well. Uh, Flex is also connected to the community uh, with several field trips and outings. Uh, we're bringing in speakers and we go away for a Flex focus week um, where we choose a theme and do lots of different activities and speakers and um, field trips for that. Um, we also include a lot of parent involvement. We have parent meetings um, fairly frequently throughout the year. This year they've been all online but usually we like to have them in person where we can go ahead and meet all the families and get to know the students and their parents a little bit more and have students and parents to have a voice in kind of the things that we do within our program. I think it's time to tell you how we are a little different than some of the other programs offered here at Grant Park. Um, flexible learning program covers the curriculum at a bit of a faster rate. Our kids are at or above grade level so that we have time to cover the curricular outcomes and then dive into some of those curiosity projects and the learning that they want to do in their areas of interest. Um, the advanced placement program also accelerates their, their learning uh, but they work into the, the next year's curricular outcomes. We stay within the outcomes of that particular year and allow them to um, sort of quench their curiosity uh, with some projects that we offer. Um, the cross-curricular learning is something that's um, pretty known in FLEX. We do like to have some social studies and science lessons combined. We like to have some cross-curricular projects. Last year we had kids um, traveling to space and they had to learn about the digestive system of the aliens living on that planet. 
um, and then come back and share some data with the markers of civilization for social studies. So they had to do some write-ups for English, they had to work out some problems for math. So in that way we have cross-curricular projects that we like to show you at student-led conferences as parents and guardians of how we work in um, all of what we're doing throughout the units in that one final project. Um, the way that we're different is that we are multi-age. So we have both grade sevens and eights in our homerooms. Our homeroom would look like maybe 14, 15 grade sevens and 14 or 15 grade eights working together collaboratively. In one homeroom, there are two, one for Mr. Semenek and one for myself. And in that regard, um, we teach math to the grade sevens while the grade eights are in phys ed. We teach English to the grade sevens while the grade eights are in their practical arts perhaps. And the same with the alternate grades, but this allows us some one-on-one -on -one time with grade levels, but we also learn all together. So the grade seven year is done all in one for social studies and science, so all of the concepts, the curricular outcomes that we would cover, everyone does those grade sevens and eights, and then the next year we do the grade eight curricular outcomes, and everyone learns those. Uh, the way that we're able to do that is the science and the social studies units aren't based on something that they needed to know the year before such as English and math. So we're able to combine those and the grade sevens and eights work together and really develop their, their um, collaborative skills. The grade eights learn how to be mentors, um, that kind of thing. Um, the mix of the grade eights uh, and the sevens together also lends for a really nice transition for our grade sevens coming into Grant Park. We have the grade eights who know how to open their lockers and do those tricky locks. We have grade eights who know where everything is in the building and their job is pretty much to help us mentor um, the new grade seven to make that transition smooth, make it nice, make it manageable and of course make it enjoyable. So the grade eights are definitely very hands on with some of the learning for grade sevens, helping us out, um, making sets of notes to teach the grade sevens and doing their job and learning those mentorship skills. And the flip side of that is when you're in grade seven, you get to feel a little more at ease. It becomes more like a family feeling um, in the program. We have um, a sense of family with our parents and guardians as well. We have these kids for two years. So within those two years, we're able to work on any of those skills that we've noticed that um, might need some improvement before they hit the next level. Whereas other programs, you're just with the teachers for one year and then they have brand new teachers the next year. We're able to spend some time, two years in particular, with your kids. So um, one thing to note is that when you're in the FLEX program, it is a two-year commitment. So now you know a little bit of what Crown Park has to offer, you definitely know a little bit more about the Flexible Learning Program and what it has to offer with our three C's, our curiosity, our collaboration and our sense of community. Um, it's so much fun in the program. We get to learn outside of the classroom with our focus week. We walk with seniors at the end of the year, but it's not for everyone. So we definitely want you to think about um, if this program is a fit for your child. So we're going to talk to you now about um, a flex student that is well suited for this program. One of the first things we'd like to mention is that we do do some collaborative work. We do some partner work. Sometimes they choose their partners or their groups. Sometimes we use popsicle sticks with their names on them to choose groups, or we assign groups to match the different skills. So if I know that you're very good at research and your friend is very good at um, artistic skills, then I can combine you for a, a project, things to work on. And you definitely have to work with people that you typically wouldn't choose on any given day. So group work skills are a must. We definitely ask that you um, are able to work with anyone and that you uh, share your voice with us and you encourage your classmates to share their voice and you make the collaborative setting just work for everyone. The students are also self-motivated, so they take ownership of their own learning, um, they want to do better, they kind of want to get those top marks um, without that extra bit of encouragement um, or, the, or the kind of harassing of them to kind of get their work in or get started on an assignment. They're willing to get going, they're eager to learn and want to get going right on those assignments right away. You bet. And that comes with juggling some due dates. So our kids are often able to multitask. They might have a project to be doing in my class and an essay in Mr. Semenik's class and the due dates come at them and they're going to, um, in the two years that we're with us, they're going to tighten their belt with organizational skills, um, with managing those due dates and really putting their best foot forward. 
Okay. Yeah, so flex students, um, they generally perform at or above the grade level. Um, they work their best, they do their best to kind of achieve all that they can for everything that they do. Um, <laughs> so there's some entrance requirements in order to um, be enrolled in the flex program here at Grant Park. Um, there's an assessment morning that we usually have, but this year it's on April 10th. Um, and you also need to fill out a couple forms. Uh, there's a teacher recommendation that you need to take to your school, have the teacher fill out, and they send it directly back to our school. Uh, there's a parent recommendation that needs to be filled out that you fill out and submit with your application. And then we need their current report card and a fully completed student contract that you've gone over with your child. So you've learned a little bit about Grant Park and what they have to offer. You've learned a little bit more about the flexible learning program and how we work with our collaborative learning, our cross-curricular projects, our grade sevens and eights, working together on a daily basis. And if that sounds like your cup of tea, then we would love to have you. Um, take care and we'll be available for any questions at the Night of Open House uh, during our virtual question and answer period. Thank you so much.